Hello everybody, I am more to me for a life and we are back with RimWorld and today we're going to do something slightly different. I am going to show you how to add mods to RimWorld. Oh, excuse me while I beat up my desk. It's actually very, very simple. I'm only going to show you how to use it from the Steam Workshop because I haven't actually tried the other one and as far as I know, you have to be able to get into the files and everything of RimWorld in order to add them from the London uh, form. So I am just going to show you how to do them from the Steam Workshop. You go into your mods menu and right up here it says open Steam Workshop. We're going to click on that and it's going to open up this wonderful little page full of all kinds of different mods. There are so, so many. 135 pages and I have got... Uh, 9, 18, I think per page, so quite a few mods. And between all of the mods, there's also people with, uh, say, uh, different scenarios that they have custom built and added to here so that they could either draw from it for their own or so that you could play along with them. There are also 5,000 mods here. There are more on the London network, and I would love to show you how to do that, but I don't quite know how to do that one yet. That requires you unpacking files and moving files, but I am here to give you a quick uh, tutorial on just how to add mods from the Steam Network. And I would suggest just taking a day and going through all of the mods and any ones that you are interested in, favor them. And right now I am going to find um, survival mills. And the reason being is what, survival eels? No, no, meals. Thank you. Um, in my recent playthrough, I have figured out that I actually need to be able to make these. So, what I'm going to do is click on this. I'm going to take a look and make sure it's the right one because there are places on here that give you different languages. I want to make sure this is the one that I want. I also need to make sure it's updated to the proper, uh, the proper alpha. Some of these are not updated on this site, so make sure that you're paying attention to that because they may not work with the new alpha. And this one is indeed updated, so I'm going to add it to my favorites. And the reason I'm doing this is because if you're going through six or seven, or in this case 130 some odd pages, it's hard to choose which ones you want for a different type of place to through. So just favorite them, and then what you can do is go back to your main page, which is right here. And I'll just click this out and go back to the actual main page and go over here to your favorites. And this is just going to give you a list of all the ones you favorited in all of these lists. So go through, find all of the cores that you want. Any of the uh, Raiders Can Swim. Interesting. Uh, I have not seen that one before. There's a couple of new ones actually on here. The people are always adding to this, even though this game was made a while back. The program developers and the uh, following of this game is still quite high. As you can see, we just recently updated to Alpha 16. This game has been around since, uh, I think, 2013, and they're already planning the Alpha 17, which is supposed to streamline a whole lot of the new functions of the game. So don't think, oh, 4,000 entries, here it is. Um, don't think that if you buy this game, that you're going to suddenly get bored and you're not going to be able to find any support or any new mods. There is still a huge amount of people still working on this game and still creating new mods for it. Alright, and I'm going to go over here to my favorites. And here's a list of all the ones I have favorited for one reason or another, like I've got the Jaffa Star Stargate patch, because at some point I would like to do a Stargate playthrough. I'm just not doing it on this particular one. Now, I'm going to go through and find the one I just favorited, because that's the one I was going to use as my example. Let me see, where did it place it? Probably at the end of my list, maybe? Let's check. Nope, not the end. Ah, uh, where are the survival? There they are. And right here, you can either click here to add, or if you're actually on the page and you know you want this one, the actual page, it says subscribe to download, and you just hit that subscribe button, and it'll be put on your list. Now I'm going to find one more that I wish to add to my latest playthrough, the uh, World Enders, and I'm not sure that it's already in my favorites. Hold on, let me check. It may already be here. Uh, I don't think so. I thought it was a little OP to begin with. 
But at the same time, with the playthrough that I am doing, I really, really think it's really the only way to go. Um, let me see, let me see. I don't think I do. I think I took it off of my list of favorites because I wasn't planning on using it. Uh, nope, it's not on the list. Okay, so I'm going to go back here and go to mining. Or deep drill mining, I think, would be actually a better way to do this. Deep drill mining. And hopefully... Hopefully it will show up in here somewhere. Oh, this is still in my favorites. I do not want to go to my favorites and look for this. I want to go to all and look for deep drill mining. Okay. Sustainable drill. Is this the one that I want? Uh, it is for the 16. Uh, low yield drill taps to very deep pockets providing um, acquired. Fairly expensive. Uses a lot of power. And must be used. And I think. I think this might be it, so I'm going to add it to my favorites and go back and look again to make sure that is the one that I want. Deep core drill miner. No, I think this is it. Non vanilla rock material. All right, and whenever you're looking at these mods, sometimes you should also pay very close attention to what mod order they should be in. A lot of them are kind of common sense, and I'll give you a quick look at that in just a few minutes, but some of these will have very specific spots where they have to go in order to operate, so make sure you're paying attention to see whether or not there's a particular load order for that mod. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and favorite this one. This might actually be the one I was looking for, but I'm not sure. But I think that is. So let's go over here to my favorites. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable that one. The one that I think I was actually after. If I can find it. Uh, deep, drawer, uh, deep drill miner. Where are we at? Where, where, where did you hide it in my list of favorites? And this is the reason why I said that you should definitely put it on your favorites. Because it's so much easier to find. Uh, sustainable drilling, no. Was that it? Uh, no. Not it. Um, hmm. Did I favorite it? Oh, there it is. Alright, and this is the one that I think, so I'm going to subscribe to this one as well. Now, because you are doing this through Steam, it is already on your list. You just have to activate it and put it in the correct order. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out of here. Now, what all I did, just to recap, because I know how complicated uh, modding can be and how um, intimidating modding can be. I just went in here to the RimWorld Steam Workshop. I clicked on one that I liked. I added it to my favorites. Then I went into my favorites and added, I subscribed to each one of the ones that I wanted. A lot of these will have just a plus right here. That will do it, or you can go into the actual one to check it just to be sure. Because a couple of these do the same thing, you might want to find the one that works best for you. Um, a couple of side notes, there are a lot of cores in here, like deep mining core. Um, yeah, this is the one that I've got. Uh, let's see, what other kind of cores can I actually show you? that are kind of important. Actually, I've got several on my favorites, so let's just go over here to my favorites and look at... Uh, where are some of the cores? Like Hugs Lib? Always get Hugs Lib. If you're going to get any of these, go ahead and get Hugs Lib because it is basically a way for your other mods to mesh and it should always be right underneath Core, which is your main game, RimWorld's file. Hugs Lib should go at the very, very top, always. It makes the other ones work together. Alright, now I've got miscellaneous core here. 
And basically this mod can, is basically the core of whatever this mod contains. Any of these additional ones, like this one works off of, let's see, which one does it work off of? Let me find one. Here we go. Miscellaneous robots. And it says specifically down here, you must load miscellaneous core first. Miscellaneous core is what this particular mod runs off of. And there's a few other mods that run off of this core. So you may have to pay attention to whether or not there is a core for that mod. Just read through the descriptions. They always have it listed. Okay. Now that I've made it completely complicated, let's actually go and see how simple this is. Now we're going to close this out and we're back on our mods page. Really quick and easy. And here's my mods list for my two, and yes, I did say two, uh, playthroughs because there's a second one coming up. The arc is coming back. Uh, let's scroll all the way to the bottom. And this is the ones that I have on here that I have not taken off. Chicken's Nest is already disabled and the bees are disabled, but I do have, let's see, let us restore world enders all right making sure I have the proper one and this particular mod that I am using right this second is my backup list and I would definitely recommend this for anyone who is playing more than one playthrough and that one in particular gives you all of these to put a different set of mod lists you can put them in different orders or whatever and save that list and back it up and all you have to do is click a button and it'll restore the mod list so you don't have to fight with clicking and unclicking all of these. And to turn these on, let's see, survival meals, we're going to turn that one on and turn that one on. We're not going to worry about the other two because we don't need them. Now, my only pointers for this and most of the mods, if they don't tell you a specific spot that they have to go in the load order, it doesn't really matter. Some of them will tell you where it has to go. And I base it on these few things. If you have a mod that changes the terrain or your world map in any way, that should go up towards the top. If it is a core, like this miscellaneous core right here, it is up towards the top. It needs to go through, go above anything that that core affects. We also have, see I've got miscellaneous core, miscellaneous objects, miscellaneous robots. All of these run off of miscellaneous core. And Let's see, where else do we have something that might help out with that one? Mm, I don't think I have any other cores on this one, so it's not really going to help. Okay, well, that's the only core I'm running right now. Okay, now if you change the terrain, then take a step down. If you change your characters in any way, those probably should go next. See, so yeah, I've got the genetically engineered trait and the tag trait. And then, because I want these two traits to show up in the prepare carefully, I've got that next. And um, also, with your animals, your animals will be the next step down. If you have anything that changes how many or what type of animals you have, that should go next before anything that changes what your animals do. Like, I have packified animals, I've got Zen's big animals, and I've got Hunt for Me, and then I have... Let's see, uh, Fluffy, no, that's not it. The Wildlife tab. I want to make sure that the packified animals, the Zen animals, all show up on my Wildlife tab so they all come first. Also, um, I do have one mod on here that I need to update because it's not complete, but I've got the Zen's big animals and there's an update to make Zen's prosthetics. I do not have that one yet, I need to go back in there and get it. But that one should also go prior to, say, the Animal tab and the Wildlife tab. That way it can be used. Uh, well, actually, it should go below those to make sure that I have... Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Where did it go? <laughs> okay, Zen's Big Animals would go in first, and then after that would be the, uh, the patch for the prosthetics for the Zen's Big Animals, because I need to put the animals in the environment and then put the prosthetic bench in the environment. And that's basically what it is you have to think about. All the cores, Hugs Lib Library first, the cores, anything that affects your environment, anything that affects your colonists, anything that affects your animals, and then all of the other stuff next. See, hospitality doesn't actually affect anything in my environment. 
It doesn't affect my colonists personally. It doesn't affect my animals. It's just kind of hanging out by itself. The more trade ships doesn't really affect anything in my environment, environment either, so it's lighter. Uh, see, I've got a lot of them that are just kind of floating around the bottom that do not affect anything else in the play of the game that the uh, core would have to change the environment in order for me to use, which is the reason why they more or less go lower in the load order. But as I said, always, always check the description to see if there's a recommended spot, usually because they've tried it in a couple of different spots and that's where it works best. So always pay attention to those first, but those are just my basic tools. Anything, oh, hold on. The core of the game, hugs lib, your cores, anything that affects the environment, anything that affects your people, anything that affects your animals, and then all the other stuff below it. And I do mean by anything that affects your colonists and anything that affects your animals by it changes your types of colonists or it changes the types of animals you have. Anything that affects them as in like the uh, animal tab and stuff like that doesn't actually affect the creatures on the map. It just gives you a tab for them. Or the dog said, uh, or the milkable animals or any of that. This doesn't actually change the animals. This is what you're using to interact with them. Since my milkable animals is after my Zen's pack animals, that means I can milk my pack animals or my big animals and stuff like that. Just a little bit outside thinking of the box. If you run into that issue, that's basically the best way to go. Use the one that's going to change them and then the one that's going to give you the item to go along with that change because you want them to show up in that ability to use it. And that is really all I had. Getting them from the Steam Workshop is very, very easy. It's as easy as clicking on the one that you want, adding two of your favorites if you like it, going into your favorites, looking through the ones that you finally have listed, subscribing to all the ones that you want, closing it out, and closing out the overlay, and then clicking them on and putting them in the proper order. Now, order will have a whole lot to do with it. Just make sure hugs live first, cores, environment, colonists, animals, and then everything else afterwards, and it should be okay. And always, always go by the description and check to make sure on every single one that you get, let me say this one more time, that they are updated to the newest version of the game because some on here have still not been updated, so be very careful of that. All right, and that is it, and I hope to see you posting videos on Twitter or posting your own videos on YouTube of RimWorld because this game is absolutely amazing and I personally am looking forward to seeing a whole lot more videos because I watch them. I binge watch RimWorld series. I really do. So, um, I think that is it and I hope you have enjoyed this tiny little tutorial that is hugely exaggerated. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful 5 o'clock somewhere. Bye-bye.